the lights blaze, the crowd roars. The energy in the air is palpable, a living, breathing entity that seems to pulse with every cheer and chant. The stadium is a cauldron of noise, a symphony of voices united in their passion for the beautiful game. The anticipation has been building for weeks, and now, under the bright lights, it all comes to a head. It's a special night for football, the kind of night that fans dream about, where legends are made and history is written. The floodlights cast long shadows on the pitch, adding to the drama of the occasion. The players, the coaches, the fans, everyone knows that tonight is different. Tonight, the world is watching. France, the reigning champions, face a spirited Israel team. The French team, with their star-studded lineup, are the favorites. They have the experience, the skill, and the confidence that comes with being the best. But Israel is not here to make up the numbers. They have a point to prove. And they are ready to give everything they have. The atmosphere is electric. Every seat in the stadium is full. The fans are on their feet, waving flags, singing songs, and creating a wall of sound that reverberates around the arena. It's a sea of colors, with the blue of France and the white and blue of Israel dominating the scene. The excitement is contagious. And even those watching from home can feel the intensity of the moment. Fans are draped in their national colors. Anticipation hangs in the air. The supporters have traveled from far and wide to be here, to witness this clash of titans. They have painted their faces, donned their jerseys, and brought their banners, all in the hope of seeing their team triumph. The sense of community and shared purpose is overwhelming. This is a clash of footballing titans. Both teams have a rich history and a proud tradition. They have faced each other many times before, and each encounter has been a battle. Tonight is no different. The players know that every tackle, every pass, every shot could be the difference between victory and defeat. They are ready to give their all. The Israeli national anthem echoes around the stadium. The players stand with their hands on their hearts, singing with pride and determination. The fans join in, their voices rising in unison. It's a powerful moment, a reminder of what this game means to them. For Israel, this is more than just a match. It's a chance to show the world what they are capable of. A wave of emotion sweeps over the home crowd. They cheer, they cry, they celebrate every moment. The highs and lows of the game are reflected in their faces. They live and breathe every second, their emotions laid bare for all to see. This is what football is all about, the passion, the drama, the joy and the heartbreak. The French players look focused, determined. They know what is at stake. They have been here before and they know what it takes to win. Their eyes are fixed on the prize and they are ready to do whatever it takes to achieve their goal. They have trained hard, prepared meticulously, and now it's time to execute their plan. This is a match they are expected to win. The pressure is on, but they thrive under pressure. They have the talent, the experience, and the belief that they can get the job done. They huddle together, a final moment of unity before the battle begins. They know that they are not just playing for themselves, but for their country, their fans, and their legacy. But Israel has other plans. They are the underdogs, but they relish that role. They have nothing to lose and everything to gain. They have studied their opponents, identified their weaknesses, and devised a strategy to exploit them. They are ready to fight, to give everything they have, and to leave it all on the pitch. They are here to fight. Every tackle, every pass, every shot is contested fiercely. The players give no quarter and expect none in return. The intensity of the match is breathtaking, with both teams pushing themselves to the limit. The fans are on the edge of their seats, their hearts in their mouths, as they watch the drama unfold. They are here to make history. For Israel, this is a chance to achieve something special, to create a moment that will be remembered for years to come. For France, it's an opportunity to cement their legacy as one of the greatest teams of all time. The stakes are high and the outcome is uncertain. But one thing is for sure, this is a night that will be remembered. The whistle blows and the battle commences. France, with their star-studded lineup, immediately takes control. Mbappe, with his blistering pace, threatens down the wing. Benzema lurks in the box, a constant danger. The Israeli defense is under siege. A through ball cuts open the Israeli defense. Benzema is one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He strikes the ball with power and precision. The crowd holds its breath. But the Israeli goalkeeper pulls off a stunning save. The stadium erupts. Israel lives to fight another day. Another. Israel weathers the early storm. The French team comes out strong, pressing high and looking to dominate possession from the first whistle. The Israeli defense, however, stands firm, absorbing the pressure with a calm and collected demeanor. The crowd roars in approval, their cheers echoing through the stadium, creating an electrifying atmosphere. 
The players feed off this energy, their determination evident in every tackle and interception. Their defense, resolute and organized, frustrates the French attackers. The back line, a wall of blue and white, moves in unison, cutting off passing lanes and closing down spaces. The French forwards, known for their flair and creativity, find themselves stifled, unable to break through. Each time they think they've found a gap, an Israeli defender is there to shut it down. The frustration is palpable as the French players begin to show signs of impatience, their frustration growing with each failed attempt. The midfield battles with tenacity, winning crucial balls. It's a fierce contest with both sides fighting tooth and nail for control. The Israeli midfielders, relentless in their pursuit, challenge every ball, leaving no room for the French to settle. Their efforts are rewarded as they win possession time and again, disrupting the flow of the French game. The intensity of the battle is a sight to behold, with players throwing themselves into tackles, each one more committed than the last. And then Israel ventures forward. A quick counter-attack catches France off guard. The transition from defense to attack is seamless, a testament to the team's preparation and understanding. The ball moves swiftly from the back line to the midfield and then to the forwards, each pass precise and purposeful. The French, caught on their heels, scramble to get back, but the Israeli players are already in full stride, their eyes set on the goal. A deft pass finds the Israeli striker in space. He controls the ball with his chest and unleashes a powerful volley. The technique is flawless, the execution perfect. The ball, struck with venom, flies towards the goal with incredible speed. The crowd holds its breath, the anticipation building with each passing second. The striker's composure under pressure is remarkable, his focus unwavering as he takes the shot. The ball flies towards the goal. The French goalkeeper scrambles across his line, his eyes widen as he realizes the danger, his body reacting instinctively. He dives, stretching every muscle, his fingertips brushing the ball. The tension in the stadium is palpable, every fan on the edge of their seat, their eyes glued to the unfolding drama. The goalkeeper's effort is heroic, his determination to keep the ball out evident in every movement. It's going wide, or is it? The ball cannons off the post and goes out for a goal kick, so close. The sound of the ball hitting the post echoes through the stadium, a collective gasp from the crowd. The Israeli players hold their heads in their hands, so close to taking the lead. The French goalkeeper breathes a sigh of relief, his heart still racing. The game continues, the drama far from over, each team knowing that moments like these can define the outcome. The first half ends goalless. Both teams have shown incredible resilience and determination, but neither has managed to break the deadlock. The scoreboard remains unchanged, reflecting the intense struggle on the pitch. It's been a tactical battle, full of intensity and drama. Each team has been meticulously planning their moves, trying to outsmart the other. The players have been pushing their limits, showcasing their skills and strategies in a bid to gain the upper hand. Israel, the underdogs, have held their own against the mighty French. The crowd is buzzing with excitement and anticipation. Every pass, every tackle, every shot has been met with roars of approval or gasps of disbelief from the stands. Could an upset be on the cards? The tension is palpable as fans from both sides hold their breath, wondering if the underdogs can pull off a historic victory. The atmosphere is electric, with every moment adding to the suspense. The players disappear down the tunnel. They head to the locker rooms, where they will regroup, rehydrate, and receive crucial instructions from their coaches. This is a moment of respite, but also a time for reflection and strategy. The coaches rally their troops. They know that the second half will be decisive. They analyze the first half, pointing out strengths and weaknesses, and devise new tactics to exploit the opposition. The players listen intently, absorbing every word. The second half promises to be even more captivating. The tension is palpable. The world is watching. Fans are on the edge of their seats, eagerly awaiting the resumption of play. The stakes are high and the outcome is uncertain. Will France assert their dominance? The French team, known for their skill and prowess, are determined to break through the Israeli defense. They have a reputation to uphold and are eager to prove their superiority on the field. Or will Israel continue to defy the odds? The Israeli team, fueled by their underdog status, are fighting with everything they have. They have already surprised many by holding the French at bay, and they are not ready to give up now. The stage is set for a thrilling second half. The players return to the pitch, ready to give their all. The fans cheer them on, their hopes and dreams riding on every kick of the ball. This is what soccer is all about, passion, drama, and the unyielding pursuit of victory. 